Today, we are going to be making a custom mod pack. We're going to be adding mods and adding them and adding more and more until we could crash my computer because it is a god computer and I want to test its potential. Let's see if there's any more mods. I want to try. I want to find a TNT mod. Here we go. Lucky TNT. That should be good. Okay. Let's um. Oh, my game already crashed. Okay, let's look at this output log, see if it's giving me any useful information. Uh, yeah, it already crashed, and I haven't even done anything. Requires gecko lib. Put <laughs> our output log in case the game crashes again. Alright. So this is the first set of mods. It's gonna be it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool. I've already experimented with this mod pack a little bit because I've always wanted some sort of I've always wanted a custom mod pack and I just left the Curse Forge modding platform and I went to Modrin. But I need a new mod but I need a new mod pack for Modrin. That's odd. Wait, no, it's doing something. It's giving me a lot of errors here. Alright, never mind. Whoa. Whoa. That is so cool. That is actually amazing. So the this world gen is actually completely cool and I'm in an ice marsh right now. So this this world generation is thanks to a mod called Terralith. It's also a house over there that's from the Wither Storm mod. I'll probably summon a Wither Storm in a bit here. Is this a part of like blue skies or something? Oh yeah, wait. Oh, Traveler's Map from Terralith. Okay, what's that X? But, I think we could do better than this. I think we could add f uh, some more mods, actually. Because I want to break the game. I want to I wanna see just how much a computer can handle. That's the first set. Let's, uh, let's add the other set. So, as you just saw, my PC handled the first set of mods really well. The thing is, I wanted to crash the whole thing. See just how much it can handle. So, I went browsing for another set. Let's, let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. Mechanism is wishing me a happy new year because, yes, this is recorded on New Year's Day. Oh, now the computer sounds like it's about to explode. So I did add a mod that um lets you go to space. So I guess we're gonna we're gonna try that one out. Yes, I am going to attempt to go to space. Now what was that mod called again? Ad Astro. No, it wasn't called Ad Astro, it was called some oh wait. Beyond Earth. Okay. So tier four rocket. small for a launch pad. It then took me 30 whole minutes to find out how to get oxygen into my spacesuit. So, it was really delayed. Okay. That's enough of that. Eight. Wish me luck. I am now leaving Okay. Let's 
stay here. We're in Earth right now. Let's go to Mars. Oh. What's happening? So I like hold space to slow down. Ow. Alright. So I guess that didn't work out well. Oh, that's a nice health bar. How am I dying? Oh, I have no oxygen. Right! I forgot. But the thing is, I have no idea how to load oxygen. But this is, this is really cool. Where'd my rocket go? <laughs> I no longer have a tier 4 rocket. Question is, do you even take... Okay, yeah, you do. Well, that's inconvenient. After getting bored with the space mod, I had installed about a hundred more mods to see what would happen. And, uh... I'll show you what happened. Oh. Well, that's inconvenient.